Hey, Jonathan here at Topsaw. I wanted to do a little introductory video on how to use Corel Draw 2018 and how you take that file from Corel Draw, um, post it to the Universal Laser 3.60. So this video, I'm going to go through how you do that. I just made kind of a funny sign here: measure twice, cut once, and I try to cut off part of the sign there. I'm going to put this in my classroom and see how many students actually correct me and let me know that my board was a little too short for that sign. Okay, uh, I'm gonna quick go over the universal here. So I'm in Corel Draw 2018, and the first thing I do is I go up to the top corner here, I go File, New, then under New, I always make this 24 by 12 in RGB, so I make this the size of my burn window. Right here, I hit OK, and then that'll come up, and there's my window, and then now I'm creating text, so I go over here to the text box, create a text box right there, and then from there I enter whatever text I want, hello, it comes in small, I highlight it, once it's highlighted I can go up here and select the font size. And also while it's highlighted, I can select the font style, okay? So what I'm going to do here, now I'm going to delete this box. So I'll just hit my selection tool, delete. I'm going to have this measure twice, cut once, but I wanted it to cut off the board like right here. Kind of as a joke, we'll see if anybody gets that. So then I hit, I go back up here, I'm all done. I like the way that looks, I go file, Print. This comes up. I hit VLS 3.6. That's right. I look for issues. There are no issues up there. I hit print. That's not going to print it. All that does is send it to the driver. So then now that I've sent it to the driver, I minimize this. Corral 2018. I go to my universal laser. Here's my um, words, my text box. I gotta make sure this thing's on. It takes a while to warm up. It's already warm. Green's gonna run it, but I'm not ready to run it yet. So I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna pull it up here. Drop it in that upper left-hand corner. That's the selection tool here to move it around, to relocate. So I'm right here at relocate. I got it up there. And if I'm sure the Z-axis is far enough down, I can check where it is with my laser. So that laser button, now I'm going to click the lower left hand corner, so I click here, and the laser moves over to it. So if I click here, I can see where I am on that board. Here's the bottom of my text, so that works pretty well. So let me do this one more time. So that's it. So what I'm doing is I'm clicking on the N, I'll click on the C, so it's just going to cut the C. I think I'm actually going to go back to relocate view here. I'm going to pull it over just a little bit more. Like that. And then I go back to the laser. And I want it to end off the board like right maybe on the E so you can figure out where it is. And then I check it over here. So it's going to keep the C. Yeah, so that's good there. So I like that. I go back over here to settings. Under settings, it's a general hardwood. I have to set my thickness here. 0.75. So I have the correct material selected. I have 0.75 collect. I hit OK. It's telling me I can't cut through, but I can engrave. I hit yes. Most important thing on, on my back uh, on my laser here. So this is a VLS. Uh, 3.60, 60 watt. So I got to turn the vac on. Close the lid. Back over here. I hit play. I'm ready to go. And then I start engraving.
Oh, I like it. That's the perfect cutoff, too. All right, well, there it is. I like that a lot. I don't know how many people find that funny. They might. They might just let me know that I cut the board too short. I guess we'll see. I'll put that in the front of the room and see what happens. You cut the board too short. What? Oh, no, I guess I did.